Okay, Aloha, this is Professor Del Carpio. We are here at Gossi. And um, even though this is an English 96 class, and in theory we are not dealing with APA citation, index citation, references, I wanted to introduce that to my advanced students. So um, one of the common mistakes is either or either we do not um, credit the person, okay, the, the, our source all the time. Every sentence that you write, if there is a full stop, that, okay, um, and if there is a full stop and that's not your idea, you are paraphrasing or uh, direct quoting, okay, using direct quotation, you need to acknowledge. Who, does, who that come from. There are ways of avoiding that type of redundancy, okay? We, for instance, look at that. So uh, redundancy, we want to make sure that we are acknowledging that that didn't come from my mind. It was not my idea, okay? I read that from somewhere. That could be a summary when I'm writing. I'm paraphrasing something I read online or an article. Um, or I can use the red quotation. Every time that is not coming from me, from my idea, if I put a full stop, a period, then, and I don't cite anything, that would mean that is my idea. Especially in argumentative writing, argumentative writing, okay? Historical writing, all, all the type of writing, when I'm just exposing or doing a literature review, if I'm, pointed out that I'm just literature review from one book, one author, right? I mentioned the author at the beginning of the paragraph and at the end, and it's understood that it's the same author. If not, only that cases, that could be okay not keep on mentioning, okay, one way or another, uh, or acknowledging that those ideas are not mine. But it can be tedious if we do that all the time, like in parenthetical way. We have other options like using pronouns. We can use different type of variations. We can use, instead of saying uh, Big Leon in this case, we could use, once we have mentioned who he or she is, can the author, the expert, okay? So let's read now, how could it look mentioning every single time I am writing something that is does not come from me, okay? I want to acknowledge it. And that's what this student is doing, but it can be re redundant. So I want you to read, please, dear student, every time that you see Big Leonet 2010, you read it as well. So starting the cross. The cross-pollination and fusion of musical genre over the last two decades has exposed children to a diversity of musical styles. Viglion 2010. Technology has also made possible the distribution and sharing of music in exciting new ways. Viglion, 2012. It's an Italian, it's an Italian uh, last name, so it's Viglione. Yeah, or ni, if you want to say like American way, okay, with Leoni. Okay, very good. Um, continue. Music is shared through social media sites, analyzed and tailored for the individual listener via sites like Pandora, and simply given away by musicians on their websites. Big Leone, 2010. Perfect. As a result, in the future, children will likely develop eclectic, eclectic music taste, musical tastes, musical tastes early and expect a diversity of musical styles at younger and younger ages. Vic Leone, 2010. Something that, what do you know for sure? Who wrote that? Who are all those ideas from? Big Leone. That's good. It's something good. But if you keep on reading like that, it's just a paragraph. I know everything was written by Big Leone. It can be tedious, okay, for you, for your, for the reader. 
And the type of writing we do that is argumentative, persuasive, I want to get you connected all the time. I want you to convince you. So if I sound repetitive, boring, at to a point, I'm not going to achieve my goal, which is to convince you that my thesis statement is strong, okay? We have different solutions. Example of a real student, a proposal. Children in the near future are exposed to develop an appreciation for a broader range of musical styles and do so early and earlier in life. Viglione, 2010. The author stated two major contributing factors for this. Okay, I like this example, although it's like, uh, because there is like a mistake. Okay, if, if we have pointed out